I feel like I haven't done a what sold today video in a long time. And I thought I'd do one of those because it's one of those things where I like making these because then I get to look back at the neat stuff that I had. And sometimes I forget that I had it. So here we go. First one is on eBay. And actually it's over here on the other side of the room. It's not by my big toy shelf. Alfred Hitchcock book, Haunted Houseful, which I think is spelled wrong because it kept wanting to autocorrect it for me when I would put that into the listings. Uh, from 1960s, it's a collection of books. Here's the thing. Alfred Hitchcock did a lot of like digest stuff. Like he released so many books, but he didn't write anything. He would like put his name on it, put an intro, for these horror writers and then they would create the books. I've got like five of them over there and they're really nice hardcover books, have illustrations in them and everything. Actually, let me look at the illustrations. Uh, every few pages, it's got some really cool like spooky illustration like, like those old Adams Family comics and stuff going on throughout it. Anyway, it's actually kind of a clever thing that he's just like putting his name on it and then everybody else write the book and then he gets the money. This next one is, it's something I put up for auction because I thought it would go for more, but I don't know if I listed it in the wrong thing, but it didn't go for more. A Peanuts picture maker. So inside there are these stencils and you basically just create etchings. They're like pre-done stencils of Peanuts characters and you can create your own cartoons like these ones right here. And it's got the backgrounds and everything set up. You see, you got the little drawing center to do it. I would pull the stuff out, but there's so many pieces inside here. Now, I also sell a lot of loose toys because sometimes I'll buy things and they'll just be like loose toys with it that don't go with the main toy. Does that make sense? I don't know. So I'll put some of them up for sale and then stick it in one of these bins. I have a couple of them and I got to search for one in this. Here we go. All right, so it sees, oh, they're all in weird positions, but uh, there are these old Fisher Price cows, toy, the toy cows that come with the, uh, the farm place, which I don't have. I wish I had one of those, one where you open the door and it goes meh. Um, I, I always, I remember as a kid, the way that these felt, I don't know, they just didn't, the plastic felt a lot more, I wanna say tangible, but that doesn't make sense. Anyway, sold two of those. Um, had a couple of them that were just extra pieces with a toy that I got. So, hey, that works. And then next up is the thing that I probably spend the most time on and sell the most, illustrated children's books. And the one that I got here is Little Boy Blues Horn, black and white with red accent artwork in it for the story Little Boy Blue. And that's going out today. Another one that I have is, uh, I found a whole series of Sweet Valley High books, which were like, I wanna say they were from the 80s? Maybe they were the 70s, I think 80s. And one that I sold here is an issue called Secrets. Now, I never knew much about Sweet Valley High except for the cover ever. So in the, <laughs> in the past couple of months, I've learned more about this book than I ever thought I would in my life. Anyway, I didn't realize that these two were sisters and they were always kind of competing for stuff and then boys and all that kind of stuff. Best part is, is someone ordered this and they left me a note that says, hi, please put a message on the parcel for the delivery staff that says, handle with care, thank you. So it's a paperback book and they want me to put a handle with care package on it. I don't know if it's getting delivered to their office and they're like, this would be a jokey thing to put on it. And then they'd open it and it would be Sweet Valley High. Actually, I kind of hope that's what it is because that's amazing. I recently got a whole bunch of illustrated frame tray puzzles, whole stack of them here. There's actually some over there that haven't been listed yet and uh, sold this one today. I, I think they're cool just for like, not even for puzzles, just like hang them up, use them that way. But sold this one here that's called Kids on a Carousel. And on the back, it's got to start it out. It's got a little hole punch or a finger punch thing there so you can pop out the first piece which I've never really seen before. And I also sold a book on Mercari, Goofy's Gags. It's basically a Disney book that has Goofy in a bunch of situations that are riddles and puns and jokes. So that one is from 1974. And this is the artwork and it is actually pretty cool. It's sort of loose and sort of on brand. On brand? You know what I mean? Like it, it sometimes it looks like they pulled it straight from like 
the stock animation stuff that they had, but this one looks like it's more hand-drawn, more pencil sketched and colored in. This Holly Hobby doll from 1975, it's actually a Betsy, not Betsy Clark, but Betsy something or other collection. And it's missing the hat and everything, but it sold right away. A doll that after researching it is called Penny Bright fashion doll from like the 1960s. And the person who bought this actually messaged me and said they got it so they could show their mother that they still have it because apparently they got it as a present when they were a kid and their mom, the person's mom told them to be careful because they needed to be responsible to have this toy because it cost money or something and they lost it. And so it's like, it's nostalgic for them, but it's also kind of like a pun gift. But that's what they told me when they messaged me about it, that they want to show their mom that they still have it. Another thing that I've been selling a lot of lately are uh, prints. I've got this one here that is a rooster on a farm talking to a tiny bird. And it's just an old on textured paper, old illustration by, I forget the person's name, which is too bad, but I put it in the listing and uh, sold that print. Been doing quite a few of those lately. And then I thought this would go faster because I thought it was neat. And it's one of those items where I didn't actually want to, like I put it up for sale, but I was like, I'm kind of hoping it doesn't sell because I like it. But it's an old uh, animated cartoon book, like animation, animated cartoons for beginners. Old ones where they show you how to draw like the Merry Melodies type characters that were there. And it's even still got the card insert for it for like apply to go to this school and learn how to draw and paint, which I thought that was a neat addition to it. A lot of interesting stuff that went out today. A lot of weird, like big and little items.